Here we have the Freezer Ice Maker. Our logo is bring the ice world to your home, which is funny. So I'm looking forward to this product. They did reach out to me and offer to send it to me and I was very excited. They said, yes. As I've mentioned in other videos, I live in an older house built in the 60s. We don't have water line run to our fridge. We could get it added, but the cutout in our house for a fridge is not very big and I don't want to buy a fridge just for an ice maker. So a countertop ice maker is exactly what I'm looking for. So I have a water tank with the 2.8 liter capacity. It'll make two different sizes of ice cubes, which is interesting. It <laughs> said it can make 33 pounds of ice a day, which is a lot. So it's too big. Let me open there, let me set it down. It's hefty. This is very well packaged. You know, there's lots of styrofoam, these little plastic corner pieces, so it doesn't get bent out of shape, which is very nice. Comes with a decent little book here. That's a big boy. That's a big boy. So we got ourselves a three prong power cord. Before you start, you gotta read all the instructions. So up here we have the control panel, viewing window, front housing, back housing. So let's take a look here. That's heavy. In here, there's a basket. There's a teeny tiny ice spoon. Interesting. Oh, it fits in there like that. That's pretty good. And then I guess this is your ice cup. Oh yeah. So this has a little measurements on there. It's just a bunch of freezer looking stuff in there. So you can see the max. So you can make large ice or small ice, as it tells you here in the book. It has an automatic cleaning, which is nice. I don't know how that works. And there's a start pause button. Select your mode. This seems like a really nice product. It tells you when it's making ice. It tells you when to add water. It tells you when it's full of ice. There's a little note on here that to let it stand for 24 hours after shipping. It's fine, I've done that already. And then also says, the ice bucket of the ice maker can't keep cold. Please take out the ice cubes in time to avoid melting. So it's not a refrigerator, right? It's or not a freezer gonna make ice cubes. It has this little bucket, but once you're done, you gotta dump it or else we'll just have a puddle of water in here, right? I guess this is the drain plug. Oh, there you go. I see. That's nice. That's nice. It's attached so you don't lose it. I'm very impressed with this thing. So I don't know, I've mentioned this in other videos. People send me stuff. I'm a, a world famous video guy, much more famous than Mash IT. Hi, this is David at Mash IT. And people offer to send me stuff all the time. And sometimes I say yes, sometimes I say no. And sometimes I'm very excited for the product. My wife always wants an ice maker. And this is awesome. Before your first use, make sure it's clean. Please ensure the ice maker is level and not stable. Should not see all right? Don't put hot water in there, no. That's a shocker. Do not use it in a super cold environment below 41 degrees. So there are a lot of instructions. To keep your ice tasting fresh, and your ice maker looking great, we recommend cleaning your ice maker once per week. So you just go through a cleaning cycle. So far, it didn't tell me how to make ice, how long it takes to make ice. So, I mean, essentially, it just seems like you gotta fill it full of water and press a button, and it should go. Now, the question is how long it takes. Hmm? So, seven to 15 minutes. All right, I'm gonna be down here working on stuff. So, let me get some water and we'll check it out. All right, so I got some water. I did 16 ounces roughly. I'm just gonna plug it in first and hopefully doesn't explode. All right, so you can see some things moving around in there. And I'm just gonna pour the water in there. There's a max label. I don't see a minimum level, so give it a shot. Close it. And then so far, there's no water leaking out from the bottom, which is good. It just says ice making, so I'm gonna do select mode. You can do small ice, clean, or large ice. Let's just start with large ice, and I'm gonna hit start. And now it says ice making here. So I'm not gonna film this the whole time. I'm gonna stop it, of course, and I'll come back. I was making some noise there. I'm gonna work on it and then I'm gonna work on some other stuff. And we'll come back. All right, so far it's still going. I can see the ice cubes forming back there. They just, they just fell off, I don't know if we can catch that. And then this little guy yeah, should dump them out. And then it makes a water noise. I went over the max fill, it just it clearly I didn't need that much ice for a test. So you can see the water kind of pouring out over there. It doesn't take very long to make the ice. It is taking a long time to cycle through all the ice. There's fan blowing out the back. It's not hot or cold to the touch. I mean, it's a little cool here, but that's more because it's metal, I think. But it's not blowing out hot air or cold air, really. So it still says ice making, but then it says add water. It doesn't seem to be a... Uh, no. All right, so I hit that button twice, and I'm guessing it pauses. There you go. 
and here are some large ice cubes. They do have like a hole in the middle. There's a hole in one side, but it's like not a hole in the other side, right? And uh, in case you're wondering, the ice is cold. Anyhow, let me dump this out, and then I'm gonna make the smaller cubes. And you can see, that's basically what it does. Those little metal guys in there, it just somehow keeps water around them and then freezes it, because they're kind of falling off there, so it's interesting. All right, so I'm gonna put much less water this time and make smaller ice cubes. All right, so it looks like we're done, and this should be smaller ice cubes. There are plenty. I wanna say there's not a huge size difference. Oh, I see, so I guess they're fatter. They're not gonna be longer, but they'll be fatter. The, the cup is the, the big ones and the smaller ones are here, so. Not a huge difference. I feel like maybe the smaller cubes were faster, but I guess obviously the larger cubes will last longer, so. Yeah, I mean, it made a ton of ice. I'm gonna say it gets the big thumbs up. Looking pretty good. My wife's gonna be pretty excited. I like it. All right, thanks for checking me out.